I crashed my drone. I completely destroyed it in the most dumb way ever. One leg completely broken. The antenna is out. Not to speak about the propellers. The plastic on top bumped. At least I didn't break the gimbal and the camera. Now I'm trying to send it back to DJI so they repair it and hopefully it will not be that pricey. But in that video I would like to share my experience and the things I learned crashing my drone so you don't do the same mistakes. Pressure. As a content creator 2019 who just started, I feel enormous pressure to produce better and more epic content, which pushes you to take more risks. Everyone has a drone nowadays and it's really hard to stand out from the crowd. Such shots like flying above the building, moving left and right, up and down, flying forward, they're boring, everyone saw them. Yes, they can spice up a little bit your video, but if you really want to step up your game, you have to start doing more creative shots, such like some colder. Unfortunately, they're requiring a lot of skills. Now let's move on to the things I learned from my crush. The first problem is gaining confidence too fast. It's extremely easy to fly your drone 10 to 15 times and to think I'm ready. That's what happened to me. I flew my drone several times, I got comfortable controlling it, I got comfortable flying it on distance like half a kilometer, one kilometer away and then I get too much confidence for my skill level. Don't fall in the same trap as me. Getting confident is really good but hold it back. Always measure and be careful because flying a drone is dangerous. You can injure somebody. Of course I did one thing very good. I made sure that there are no people around because I knew that there is a chance to break it and if that happens, I can injure somebody. I'll not show you the footage how I crashed the drone because I'm a little bit afraid that I can get some fine. 2019 flying a drone became really dangerous and you can get in trouble really easily. Where I flew it, it was totally legal, it was allowed, but you never know. I'll show you three clips which are a very similar situation and I'll show you the mistakes I did. Now let's check the clip which was successful. To be able to fly through this small tempo, I did several attempts and first I did it very slowly. So when I became more comfortable, only then I, I flew it fast. The other thing worth mentioning is that I faked it. I'm not so skillful to pick up the drone from somewhere, start flying to the tempo and then find the pass through and fly through it. So what I did is that I put the drone in the tempo, found the perfect angle from where the drone is passing through and then slowly I flew the drone back. In theory, when you fly the drone fast forward, it should just go through the tempo. Unfortunately, that's the theory. There is one major thing you have to consider and that's the weather. If there is a small wind, it can move the drone slightly. It's misaligning. I had several not successful attempts where I mostly crashed the drone. It's very important when you're flying like that to watch the screen. Always watch the screen because the drone is flying too fast and if something goes wrong you have to act immediately. You don't have any time to react. You have to react immediately when you see that something is going wrong. Otherwise you crash. If you want to become better flying like that you have to learn to read the screen and to see will the drone pass. So here the experience kicks in. I didn't have enough experience. So for me it was really hard to judge from what I see on the screen. Will the drone pass or no? And here it comes my second biggest mistake. When I was flying through, I was constantly checking the screen, checking the drone, checking the screen, checking the drone. When you're checking the drone and when you fly it full speed, you don't have time to, to react because till you see that you crash it, it's already crashed. So always trust the screen. If you have somebody to help you, you can give him the task to check the drone and his only task to be to watch if the drone will pass and if something to give you a signal to stop. And your task will be only to watch the screen. So you have to learn how to fly only with the screen. My third mistake was that I didn't take the weather into account. When I flew the drone, there was a little bit of wind, but I didn't take it into account. And that caused the crash, because a little bit of wind misaligned the drone, so I just flew it full speed into a wall. Very stupid mistake. So always take into account the weather. So let's recap. The social pressure. Don't pay attention about what other people are doing. Try to create the best what you can do and always try to improve. The second one, never be too confident. Always have a realistic judgment of your skills. I forgot the third one. Okay, I remembered. Learn to fly with your screen. 
don't try to watch the drone. Your attention should be focused on one place. You don't have time to react. So always watch the screen and fly with the screen. Fourth, take into account the weather. Small wind can make a big difference. I hope you learned something from my story. Always have a safe flight and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next episode. Ah, by the way, I have some affiliate links in the description. Don't forget to use them. You know, somehow I have to survive.